Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to your workshop. I met countless amazing people at Maker Central, but one of the people that really stood out was James from Morton Make. Now I could say it was his amazing personality and great sense of humour, but it was the fact that he brought homemade beer. When he's not busy being a doctor or making things, he also brews, and I was lucky enough to get to try some of his delicious beer. He started this new thing called Maker Trade, so I thought I'd trade him something for some more of that beer. As I'm not particularly imaginative, I've gone for a beer bottle opener. I'm making it out of some oak that I had left over from some wine tables. Yes, I know, I make a lot of booze related things. So the first job is to drill a series of holes down the centre line. The first hole needs to be big enough to accept the top of a beer bottle. The second hole needs to overlap the first hole. And this only needs to be a couple of mils deep. The third hole is going to go in the centre of the first hole we've drilled. I did say there's a lot of holes. And the fourth hole is just a little 8mm one at the other end of the handle. I want the shape to be a little more interesting than just a block of wood, so I'm going to add a taper to the handle. So I mark out where I want the taper to go and then I can take it over to the bandsaw and cut it out. With the shape cut, I give it all the sand down, moving up the grits and just rounding over the edges slightly. I need something metal to lever the cap off, so what I'm going to go for is an old one penny piece. I need to find the centre of it and mark it out. I know some people get upset about old things being destroyed, but I picked these up at the car boot sale by the hundred. I can then drill out a hole in the centre of the coin, big enough for a screw to go through. That smaller 8mm hole at the end of the handle is for a lanyard to go through, but first I want to line it with some brass tube. I cut a piece down slightly wider than the handle, so then I can sand it down flush. I'm going to attach everything with some two-part five-minute epoxy. The first bit to go in is a magnet that goes into the small hole, which is in the big hole. This will stop the beer bottle cap falling out once it's been opened, making for a silent opener. Good for those times when you want a cheeky, sneaky beer. The next going to place is the penny. If you was making this as a gift for someone, well, I suppose I am, but what would be cool is having the year of their birth on the coin. Unfortunately, James is far too young for this one, as it's got 1939 on it. The last piece to get glued in place is the brass rod. This is a slightly tight fit and just needs a little persuasion to go in. As the coin is going to act as a lever, I want to secure it in place with something more than just epoxy, so I've got a round head brass screw to go in as well. I sanded and filed the brass rod flush, but who needs more footage of sanding? And then I finished everything with some Danish oil. The last job was to add the lanyard. I didn't cut this myself, this is just some leather boot lace. It's threaded through the hole and then another bit of brass tube goes over the end. I cover it with a scrap of leather and then give it a few bashes with a hammer just to crimp it down. And that's it all done. Thank you very much James for the delicious beer and this bottle opener is on its way to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.